Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can use a receipt printer to print out a QR code along with your 2x6 or your 4x6 image from Darkroom Booth. That QR code would then link to the image they just captured on Event Gallery. It'll go directly to the image rather than to the whole gallery. So let's jump right into my computer and see how this is all set up. Okay, so first thing first, we are using a receipt printer. I don't know everything about all receipt printers. The one I'm currently using is an Epson TM T88 uh, Mark III. Uh, there are quite a few different versions. I believe they'll all work very similar in this series. Other uh, manufacturers may work differently, uh, but I don't know everything about receipt printers. I just wanna put that out there but this is the one I'm currently using. And the size I am uh, printing to is a credit card and I'm gonna pull up the layout settings just so you can see the size that uh, the Windows driver is set to. It's 72 by 100 millimeters. So the next thing that we need to have is an event gallery account. We're logged into that. We can see that it's authorized right here because that's where the image is uploading to. So now that we've gotten the requirements out of the way, the next thing we're gonna look at is we have a photo. It's gonna capture one photo. This will work with multiple photos as well. But uh, just for simplicity, I have it set to capture a single image and print out this four by six. Under print alternate, this is where everything's really happening. We have it set to print for every session. So it's gonna print a receipt and a 4x6 copy and it's going to be using this QR or this template right here. So let's look at that template, see how it's set up. I have it saved under QR codes. So if I double click on the QR code, you can see that it's using percent gallery percent and that's going to link to the gallery and then slash P slash and then photo one dot file name. So it's pulling the file name from the photo. What I'll do is I'll try to have this template downloadable um, so that you can just add it straight into your system. Um, and the other thing that's important is once again, we are using the credit card size on the template so that it knows for this template, it's going to go specifically to your receipt printer or whatever printer. If you were using a credit card printer, you could do that. Um, but that's how it knows which printer to send to. So it's not trying to print a four by six version of this. So this is set as credit card. The printer is set to accept credit card. Um, go ahead and discard changes. And uh, one other thing we're gonna look at real quick is the printer. I have um, my DS40. Let's go ahead and make sure that's detected. And that um, is set to accept 4x6 prints. So the 4x6 is only going to go to that printer. The credit card size is only going to be accepted here. It can't accept a 4x6 because it's only allowed to uh, accept that credit card size. And the only reason we're using a credit card as a size is it's very similar to the size of a receipt. So let's go ahead and start this up. Now that we kind of know how it's all set up, Okay, so it should capture a single image and then it'll print out a four by six and a receipt. Here we go. And there goes my die sub printer. The receipt's already printed. So give me just a second, let me catch that print. Here's our four by six. And now when we scan this code, There we go. It has uploaded that image and I can then share it from my phone, save it to my phone. Um, but they would then go and take their print and their receipt. If they need to scan it again or share it with another friend, they can scan it from this receipt. No need to have to worry about mistyping phone numbers, email addresses, or not scanning it on the screen. So this is almost a fail proof method of sharing images 
using a QR code in the event gallery. Um, now, of course, they can always lose this, but uh, you have the images uploaded to event gallery. So hopefully this information has been useful. If it is a workflow that you plan on using in the future, be sure to give a like. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.